why does ln of e is equal to 1? So we can prove that ln of e is equal to 1. We can assume that ln of e is equal to x. And here, if we exponentiate both sides of the equation with base e, so we ended up with base e to the exponent ln of e, and e to the power of ln, and since uh, natural logarithm is the inverse function of uh, exponential function, so this ends up canceling both. So we have e is equal to e to the power of x. And here the exponent of e is simply 1. And we have the same base. This means that we can express x, both of the ex exponents, the same or equal. So x is equal to 1. So we have ln of e is equal to x. And since we got x is equal to 1, so therefore from our equation above. And so ln of e is x. So x is equal to 1. So that's our proof ln of e is equal to 1. And the other way to do it is we have, let's assume again the same way, ln of e is equal to x. ln is the uh, logarithm with base e. So if we take the definition of logarithm, the e is the base and x is the exponent. And e here is the argument. If we set this on its exponential form, we have e to the power of x is equal to e. So we have e to the power of x equals to e. And once again, the exponent here is x, and e here is having an invisible exponent of 1. We have the same base, so therefore x is equal to 1. And once again, we have that equation from here, natural logarithm of e equals x, and we have the value of x as 1, so therefore ln of a is equal to 1. And so that's the proof. And so that's all for now. And uh, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.